Welcome to Riveting Riffs TV. This is our first episode for our online magazine and we've got a lot to talk about today. Byron Fry, who um, many of you will uh, be familiar with, his uh, music has been featured on uh, a bazillion uh, television programs such as uh, Melrose Place. In fact, uh, he actually appeared on Melrose Place. Uh, Byron has uh, recently released last week uh, Combustible. It's a fusion uh, rock uh, opera album. So he's a very versatile artist and you'll want to check out his uh, website as well www.byronfry.com. On March 19th uh, there's also a fundraiser at the El Rey in Los Angeles and it's for the David Lynch Foundation. David Lynch of course is a renowned uh, filmmaker and he has a foundation that um, offers free transcendental meditation training for uh, youth that are at risk or youth that have uh, ADD or ADHD. They have quite an outreach to um, children who have been bullied uh, at school and in their neighborhoods as, as well. It's going to be an all-star cast. Uh, many of you um, who may be in the age bracket from say 45 and up may remember a folk icon from the 60s and the early 70s, Donovan, uh, who wrote and sang uh, Mellow Yellow. He was one of the very few artists that collaborated with John Lennon and Paul McCartney uh, on songs. And uh, he was also known for um, his, uh, his other works as well, like Sunshine Superman. Uh, Donovan will be the headliner, and also uh, his daughter, Estrella Celeste, who is an upcoming pop artist, will be uh, featured that evening. Uh, Jerry Vino, Scott Healy, Mike Merritt, uh, who were part of the band on the ill-fated Conan O'Brien uh, late night show and let's hope they got the same size of uh, settlement check that Conan got. Uh, they'll also be on the gig that night. After seven years and two CDs the Slow Club Jazz Quartet is disbanding. Uh, the quartet, some of you who live in the California, greater Los Angeles area may know Angela Carol Brown who is a uh, very well respected um, jazz vocalist and uh, songwriter. She is part of that quartet and Craig Pilo, a drummer who has played with um, uh, Frank, toured with Frankie Valli extensively, uh, Billy Vera and the, and the Beaters and uh, a host of other player uh, who you may remember uh, decades ago had the song Baby Come Back. Craig has uh, toured with them, all those bands extensively as well as having his own solo career and Ed Shack and Don Casper are in that quartet as well. March 9th at Jack's in Glendale, California at 8 p.m. will be their last uh, performance together so you'll want to get out and take that in. Gary Melvin, rock guitarist from Los Angeles, is in the studio as we speak and he's uh, preparing to, uh, to record his first, uh, his debut album. Uh, he released an EP last year. Gary uh, has been in the band touring again with Frankie Valley, Small World. And uh, Gary is an outstanding uh, rock uh, singer-songwriter. So we look forward to that release coming from him. Estrella Celeste, who we mentioned a few minutes ago, is, uh, <clears throat> has just returned from the studio. She's just putting the final touches on the mastering for her debut CD as a follow-up to her EP and we look forward to um, reviewing that. Some of you who have been following the magazine online will know that there's uh, that we did a couple of months ago we did an interview with Estrella and we'll be following that up with an interview specific to this new release of hers. The Gold and the Beautiful, <clears throat> a movie that was uh, filmed a couple of years ago in fact it was filmed uh, late in 2008 uh, that was produced by Agnes Nicole Winter and stars my friend uh, Mara New is a dog therapist. Uh, that film uh, was sidetracked when the economy imploded and they had trouble uh, raising uh, the finances for distribution. So uh, now they're going straight to DVD and this is a hilarious spoof. I've seen the trailers of um, The Elite in uh, Beverly Hills, California in the uh, show business world and their, um, uh, how should we say, their little phobia, phobias that they have, including taking their dogs to uh, to the therapist. 
and Mara does a, a fantastic job in that role. She's an award-winning stage and uh, film actress. And just as a side note, she's also um, one of the uh, family members from the House of Beltrami, which is a, a noted Italian fashion design house. Turning to the Big Apple, to New York City, uh, Canadian singer-songwriter Brigitte Zari, uh, originally from uh, Toronto, from the Willowdale area, who has been living in New York City for a number of years now, um, released her CD, which we did review recently. And this is it right here, Make Room For Me. I would strongly suggest that if you're a, a jazz aficionado, that you uh, take a listen to this on uh, Brigitte's uh, website. Uh, the song Make Room For Me, the title track, uh, is outstanding. Um, What's Wrong With Me, uh, direct, uh, where the orchestration is uh, by David Wolford, and Happiest Day of My Life are uh, tunes to listen to. Uh, Randy Brecker, Grammy Award winning trumpeter and fugelhorn player, is featured on that album, as is uh, Grammy Award winning guitarist Jeff Golub. Uh, the album is produced by Neil Jason, who has worked with people like Paul Simon, and John Lennon, Yoko Ono, and a host of other uh, outstanding uh, artists along the way.